Hi, Cat's Cradle here. This is a video on how to make sausage cheese biscuits from scratch. This is a little bit of a variation on my regular biscuit recipe. I'm starting with a pound of bulk pork sausage. I happened to buy this one at Aldi. It's the first time I'd ever bought their brand of sausage and when I opened it up I noticed that it looked very lean. I let Prepare start to break it apart and brown it because you want it in pretty small pieces. This is a good job for her and she does a good job at it. She really worked at getting it broken up for me. You don't want to brown this crusty brown. You want to to just take uh, the red off of it. It doesn't even matter if there's a little pink on it. The reason I do that is because bulk sausage is typically so greasy. I do not want all of that going into my biscuit. So I'm going to brown it just a little bit to try to render off some of the fat. While Prepare is finishing browning off the sausage, I'm going to get started on my biscuits. Now, in this bowl from the 9 o'clock position, I have two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, five tablespoons of fat, today I'm using shortening, and two tablespoons of baking powder. Don't worry about writing down this list of ingredients at this point because I will have them posted for you below in the show more section under the video. This isn't really a video about how to make basic biscuits, it's how to make garlic, cheddar, sausage biscuits and so I'm following my basic b biscuit recipe up until the point where I pat the biscuits out because we're not going to pat these biscuits we're going to drop these biscuits and so I'm going to mix up these ingredients here just with my fingers until they get nice and crumbly and really they're going to end up looking like a very coarse cornmeal. There are the basic ingredients. See how it looks kind of coarse? Now I'm going to add the special ingredients for this recipe, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Today I'm using sharp cheddar. And here's how it looks once I incorporate those other three ingredients. Now I'm going to add the browned ground meat that Prepare has prepared for me. Many of you will remember the old Bisquick recipe where you actually put the raw sausage and cheese into the wet biscuit mixture. I never liked that very much. One, because my biscuits always tasted really greasy. And number two, you always had to work the dough so much to get that sausage incorporated that the biscuits ended up uh, being a little, a little tough because you had overdeveloped the gluten. This works out much better. Here's how the meat goes in. I'm just giving you a close up here. There's a little, just a tiny little bit of pink left on it because I do want just a tiny bit of the fat on there. You can see how little there was. So along with the sausage, I begin adding the buttermilk. I start stirring and the moment I see that I'm not gonna have enough buttermilk, I add a little bit more. I've done this lots of times, but if you're new to baking, you're gonna wanna start with about a cup of buttermilk. It may require just a little more. You're going to see the consistency I get to, and that's what you're going to want to do as well. See, I had to add a third time just a little bit more. This is a pretty wet dough. It's not quite like a rolled biscuit. It's a little bit wetter than that. It's going to make for an incredibly tender, moist biscuit. I think you're going to love it. So I'm just making sure I've got all that flour incorporated. It's looking pretty good. And what you're going to see me do is pick up a second spoon and what I'm going to do is try molding a biscuit with those two spoons. That's how I'm going to drop them onto the baking sheet just to make sure I've got the right consistency. Okay, here's the second spoon that I'm going to use to test to see if I can form them into a biscuit and I can. So now I begin dropping them onto my seal pat lined baking sheet. If you don't have a seal pat mat, you can lightly grease your baking sheet or you can line it with a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to get about 12 biscuits on this tray. In total, I'm going to have about 24. 
We're going to eat what we want tonight, and then the rest I will divide up two biscuits in each baggie and then put them in the freezer. It makes a great breakfast on the run. All you have to do is the night before, take the baggie out of the freezer, put it into the refrigerator, and it will thaw overnight, and then all you do is just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds the next morning to warm it up. It's a great breakfast on the run. So there's the first tray done. And here comes the second. I'll drop another 12 biscuits on here. It's just so easy to do, just dropping them rather than rolling them and cutting them. And then I pop them into a 375 degree oven. You don't have to worry about time and temperature, that kind of thing. I'll post that in the recipe below. And here the first batch comes out of the oven. They are lightly browned on top. And you can see how easily they come off the seal pat mat. I just put them to cool on a cooling rack because I love the bottoms to stay crispy. Some of the cheese, of course, is are on the bottom of the biscuits, and that makes them extra crunchy and delicious. So that's the first 12. Look how nice they look. And then here come the remainder. So there they are. Look how nice and brown they are on the bottom. Here's a close-up. Just nice and crispy crunchy, but the insides are so moist and tender. Just a great biscuit. We love having breakfast for dinner, and we're going to add a little scrambled egg to this meal. Prepper A didn't want any egg tonight, so I'm just cooking enough for uh, Paladin and me. I know you know how to cook a scrambled egg. I just thought I'd give you the whole the whole meal here. I like to wait to scramble my eggs until the biscuits come out of the oven because I can't stand a cold egg. And so uh, it gets done the very last thing right before we sit down to eat. Okay, the remainder for Paladin. Here's his plate. I'll show you how it looks tonight. Sometimes it helps to get an idea for what to cook for dinner. If you see somebody, if you see the whole meal plated up, I accidentally dropped a little bit of scrambled egg on that burner, and there's nothing that smells worse than, than egg uh, cooking on a burner, so I had to scoop that off. It really helps me when somebody shows me how they incorporate a particular recipe into a meal plan. Look at those gorgeous biscuits. So I'm just going to show you how I'm rounding out this meal. I put three pea pods there for color and a couple of little clementine oranges. I like to serve live food with every meal so uh, this just makes a beautiful meal. One of the things I especially like is that I didn't have to use a prepackaged mix like Bisquick that's loaded with preservatives. I got to use my own flour, my own leavening agents, and make it from scratch. I really like that. I think you're really gonna like these biscuits. Give them a try and let me know what you think. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle.